Good morning, beautiful people, uplifted people, positive people, people here to share this gospel. How y'all doing here on this amazing day? Hope your day started off feeling amazing. Mine is feeling spectacular. Got the wife here. Today's message, I just want to speak on anger and controlling your anger. We live in such a world where it's so much stuff out here, so much people, so much going on around us, so much chaos going around us. And it's, to keep our cool amongst all that, it's kind of hard. And I'm saying, I'm speaking for me, especially. I'm not speaking for everyone else, but I know for me, it's so much going on around here. And I remember before I wasn't saved, it was so hard to control my anger and my emotions. As soon as they say, oh, it's a short as a t toilet paper. We're like, oh gosh, we're panicking. We got to go out there and get stuff. Gas prices are going up. It's shortage of gas. Oh, let's go stock up. So much going on around us that could throw us off balance and keep us distracted from the word of God. God brought us here. He created us. He's a creator of this world. He's a creator of everything that's going on. And you telling me he's going to let something happen to us. That's the mindset I have right now. But controlling your anger, you're dealing with so much each and every day, paying the bills, the kids getting sick, you're getting sick, your job threatening to lay you off, all these stuff going on around you. So it's like you're taking this on. Plus, somebody now somebody cuts you off in the road or they shoot the finger at you or they cuss at you or rough you up. And now you're like, I got to control my anger in all this. I'm dealing with so much. Oh, I just want to release it out on this one person. They deserve it. But God say, be kind to your neighbors. Be loving to your neighbors. Love thy neighbor. And I know it's easier said than done. Because even for me, I have trouble with this area in my life, controlling my anger, controlling my temper. And then I get on here and I'm sharing the gospel. I want to be the same person that I'm on here sharing the gospel and be held accountable for my actions, my the way I act and react to everything that goes on around me, especially with my family. Those are the ones I love, I care for. I wouldn't want nothing to happen to them. So you always got to be kind, be loving, and just bite your tongue. Be the bigger person and just control, learn to control your anger. When you control your anger and learn, oh my gosh, you're going you gonna, to you gonna gain the world. Like You're going to be the most powerful person in this world because nothing will affect you. They'll be like, oh, this is happening in your life. Someone just died. That one just, da, 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 da. so much stuff going on. You'll be like, yeah, I'm cool. Like it's, it's the way of the world. And it's your mindset as well. Like You train your mindset. Be thankful for what you do have. Be like, man, at least I got this. Or at least I got that. Or at least the Lord has healed me or heal my family members. We have a lot to be so happy and joyous about. So don't let the little things, sometimes the big things, knock us off our pivot or keep us away from God and God's word and what he promised.